Hey guys, it's Kern Underboy, and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. Let's jump right into the boss of Wumba Island. Actually, I can't say that because he's not the only boss of Wumba Island, but spoilers, I probably shouldn't have said that. Regardless, Ripperoo, he's a escaped psych psychotic patient. Um, this boss is actually quite gimmicky. Um, I'll explain it as time goes on. So, ah! I'm failing already because I'm failing to talk. So, today, or rather, the day this goes up, I think, will be... No, 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 never mind. Sorry. Tomorrow, if you guys are watching this on Saturday, tomorrow is International Suit Up Day. Unfortunately, I can't really give you much details on what exactly it is because I'm not actually very knowledgeable on what it is. It's actually based off of How I Met Your Mother. And it's just a day internationally where everybody just wears a suit and looks classy. So, my, my, my version of it is, I was just like, it's just Gangnam Style. It's Gangnam Style Day. Everyone just wears a suit and he's, does, is classy. And I beat Ripper Roo. I've lost my two Aku Aku masks, which is what they're called. I realize that I've never actually said what they're called yet. They're Aku Aku masks. Um, when I was little, I always called them Udumaga. Uh, I think someone else said that they thought it was called Hoogla Boogla or something. Let's jump right into the next level, The Lost City. So, yeah. International Suit Up Day is probably the next day from whenever you're reading this. Or whenever you're watching this, rather. Why did I say reading? Um, well, I'm awesome. So we encountered a new level style here. It's like ancient Mayan civilization style. I'll let you listen to the music for a second. Doesn't it just fit so well? They're like worshipping this like frog Buddha. Like, I don't know what it is. Um, so yeah. I always gush about this game's music, so I don't think I'm going to anymore. Wow, that was close. Oh, I, it, it was close, because I lost my stupid Aku Aku mask. So, one thing I failed to mention about this game so far, is like something really, really cool about this game that a lot of games don't have, and I'm going to have to wait until I have an opportunity to say what it is. I know I can, I can get that. I don't think I can get that without... No, I can't get it. So one thing really cool about this game, if, if I can actually show you at some point, is that when you spin something, it's not just picking it up. That was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. When you spin something, you don't you don't just always dis just destroy it. You, you've probably noticed. Sometimes when I spin something, it'll get knocked away. Like, like... Uh, here, I'll show you with this Wampa Fruit. Oh, poop. Well, you heard the sound probably. It was like, and it got flung away. Um, what I'd actually do is I just realized I forgot to start my timer. Woo! Sorry, it must be a recurring theme or something. I just always forget. But when you fling it away, what actually... There we go. Did you see that? It got actually got flung away. Oh, I'm gonna get that life. I'm gonna need it. Oh. Ah. Okay. When it flings away, it actually interacts with the ah, the environment, which is very, actually really cool. So what that means is, like, hey, here, let's, oh, I can't spin those, I guess. Um, but, like, when I spin an enemy, it gets knocked off in the distance. If you got, ah, oh, if you guys have noticed, um, in the, especially in the first level, because it was really linear, um, whenever I killed an enemy, it would fly off into the distance, and then it, it can it can even break other boxes. Enemies that are flung away can also kill other enemies. So when you fling something away, it's still actually like a part of what's happening in the game. It doesn't automatically just disappear from what's happening. Oh my goodness! Why I don't want to cut my fail, so I'm going to keep them in and try to talk over them. Um, yeah. Last episode I didn't actually fail for that long. It's just. Once I died, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to talk about. So I'm like, I'll just use this opportunity and just think about what I'm going to talk about until I get back to where I was. 
but that drove me absolutely batty. Ha! Oh my god, the pun, that pun killed me. Sorry. I know I killed, I probably killed all of you, but it killed me as well. I'm a really big fan of puns, actually. Um, one really good one that I've had, um, in the recent past was, um, oh my goodness, I cannot play Crash Bandicoot. I keep just, no, I'm just crash and burn. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, what I've been, what I did was, I, so, I'm part of a show choir group at our school, and we don't actually really have a name, but we were thinking of getting making t-shirts, so we were like, okay, we're probably going to need a name, and we were trying to think of one, and it, just calling us ourselves, like, our school's show choir isn't very creative, so we were trying to think of a creative name, and one of the ideas that we had was Chesterfield. Oh my god! Chester freaking field! Um... The reason why Chesterfield was a thing was because when we were, um, I almost feel like I should cut and you guys are already bored of watching this. Um, the reason, uh, Chesterfield was an option is because when we, when things would get out of hand, like, we weren't very, very big groups, so this didn't happen, well, actually, it still did happen a lot, but, um, whenever, like, things got out of hand and people were just, like, talking over everything, oh my goodness! When people were just talking a lot, and like we needed to get stuff done, then the word we would say to get everyone's attention would be Chesterfield, and it just, I don't know why we ended up choosing that, but we just ended up going with that word. But we didn't think the Chesterfields or the Chesterfielders were a very creative name, so we decided to um, uh, think of another name, and another, an idea was to say Chesterfield. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the bass to go this time. An, an idea we had was to change. Oh my god, I should have waited. I should have waited. Um, one of the ideas was just to translate Chesterfield into different languages. And there was like French, the sofa, there's I guess you could say couch. Um, in like, I think it was Indian. It was like Mantil Panjang. And one of the one of our uh, members was all for that name. He was half Indian. Um, but. We, we, most of us were like, eh, and then I was like, wait a second, wait a second, in French, Chesterfield is sofa, and the, the notes on the scale go, do, re, mi, fa, so, ba, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, so I'm like, so, fa, get it? Da, da. Uh, those are the notes, by the way, on a, in a really random key that I'm not going to tell you because I was probably wrong. But, oh my goodness, can I actually, like, do this level? I've been, I, like, I've been talking, so it's fine. But, like, I haven't, I haven't done anything. Like, honestly. Like, this is getting ridiculous. Finally! Jeez, screw you! Checkpoint! The checkpoint was right! <sighs> oh, hi, Leaping Lizard. Yes! Although the first one, oh no, I just realized. Yeah, no, I'm not getting that. You know how back in the level before the checkpoint we just got, there was um um the another embryo mask. Um, well, uh, the reason we couldn't get it was because there was well, like it was too high up, and um, can I go under? Yeah, I can go under. Um. It was too high up, and there was a, an outlined box, which is just a box that would be filled in if you press this. Which I don't plan on doing. Because I don't want to go all the way back. That would just be torture. So. Uh, let's see. What to talk about. There's lots of stuff to talk about. You guys actually seem to laugh at um, the Asian jokes I made about my parents uh, last episode. Um, well, not necessarily about my parents, but yes, it is still cold, and yes, they're still being stingy about keeping the thermostat off. Um, they're they're get they're getting a bit better though, cause um they now they now they like set a schedule so like it turns on like a bit before. Oh, that was a bad idea. It now it turns on a bit before I like it's time to wake up. So it's not like a, oh my god I don't want to get out of bed because it's like negative three degrees. It's more like a, oh it's not bad. Although bed is always still more more warm. It's it's sort of a given. Um, but still in the afternoons and evenings I'm still pretty cold. 
But I mean, whatever. I can deal with it. First world problems. Speaking of which, um, Niga Higa uploaded a video very recently, and it was called, uh, I think it, I think, I think it was him. Uh, first world problems, and oh my god, I laughed so hard at one of the jokes. They were like, we have remedies for this. One of which is a straw. Now here. Ah! Now here. Here's a straw. Now suck it up. Oh, I can't believe I'm not learning from my mistakes. And then the second one was a genius. Here's a full cup. Now, now shut the full cup. Get it? Ha! Uh, it's funny because it's ah! It's not funny. Why this? This is supposed to be super easy. Okay, let's look at the pattern. Two, one, two, one, three, two, uh, go. Okay. What's this? This is just one, two, one, two. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna get that. What is that? Oh, just one of the fruit. We're almost on the level, I swear, guys. I know this is a pretty long episode by now, but I mean, like, it's... Ah! It hasn't been... Oh, no! No! Actually, I know how to do it now, so I just need to wait. Hey, guys. Welcome back. I, I was really reckless in the past, like, four lives. And I'm like, I'll just think of the question of the video while I wait, so I just cut that out. Um, so my question of the video is... It's now becoming- No, 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 no! Okay, sorry. Um, now it's becoming autumn. Or it is autumn, rather, already. Or fall. Um, but I already fell, so- No! Every time- I think I'm just karma. Just pun karma. I'm not allowed to make bad puns anymore, okay? It's just- it's just no. Okay. Um, so what's your favorite season? I know it's becoming fall. And I like fall, like the weather is alright, and it's really pretty, especially in Canada. Awesome, thumbs up to you if you live in Canada. But it's always so sad for me because it's just... <sighs> it's just I feel like it's just a reminder that pretty soon it's going to be snowy and cold, and I really don't like the cold. As you can tell, because I've complained about the cold for the past two videos. Um... I can't believe I've lost like over 10 lives, probably like approaching 20. Um, so what's your favorite season and why? Because um, for me, my favorite season is summer for various reasons, one of which is my birthday's in the summer. Uh, I'm not telling you when it is yet though. Uh, bonus level, we can actually save, lovely. Um, and because it's just warm, like I want to go live in Arizona. I live in Canada. I know, right? It's weird. Canadian who's like gonna be in like the coldest country. He loves the warmth. Hey, it wasn't my choice to live here, you know. Um, but are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, you can't be kidding me. No, no. Just to clarify, guys. This is exactly what happened last time when I mentioned technical difficulties. Save point glitches, I can't do anything, nothing works. But I am think I'm going to leave it off there, guys. Question of the video once again is what is your favorite season? I know we sort of stopped halfway through this level. Don't worry, guys. Next time, I will start off right where we ended and I just won't collect those stupid masks. So we'll still be able to keep going. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.